Welcome back to Joe Stun Unboxing. Um, there was a fight, main event yesterday, that was not the most exciting of fights between Maxi Hughes and Kid Galahad. Um, yeah, look, I've got to be honest with you. <clears throat> I've never found either of these fighters to be particularly exciting, especially Galahad, who is so clinical and t tends to dissect his opponents in such a way that is skillful and you sort of respect it, but you can't really get thrilled about it. Um, and so it proved yesterday. Um, now, scoring controversy, because a lot of people are saying this is a wafer-thin fight. I had it. I didn't have it close. I, Well, I kind of did, but didn't. Because when I totted up my scorecard, I had it 117-111 for Hughes. But I'm not joking. At least six of those rounds, you could throw them up in the air and they would land in either corner. They were so difficult to score. And the main reason for this is that, well, the, the fighters' styles, they're, they're both counter-punchers. They both like to pop the opponent when he's not looking almost. They both like to sort of pinch rounds. Um, it just didn't seem to me to be a as if the styles meshed at all. It, but they were kind of cancelling each other out. And Galahad uh, came out, switch hitter, seems to switch hit almost every other round, came out orthodox. Hughes is a southpaw. Um, Galahad was putting the pressure on trying to get close and kind of put mental pressure on as well as the physical stuff, but just wasn't throwing enough punches, hardly any punches, really. He seemed reluctant to let his hands go unless he was absolutely certain he was going to hit the target in the bullseye. It, it's not, it's mental pressure because if a guy's constantly moving forward and you're having to think, that creates mental pressure. But you've got to score, you've got to have scoring punches to win rounds and Galahad just didn't do that and that's why I was giving Hughes the rounds now that's not to say that Hughes was in any way totally dominant he was not Hughes was he was landing the cleaner punches but they were nearly always single shots um he was on the back foot but he wasn't running you know he was just staying out of range for long enough until Galahad maybe took some left a sort of crack in the crack in the door so to speak and then Hughes would jump through it and pop him with a single shot and then it would be back to, you know, they'd reset. And I, I thought that Hughes was was pinching rounds. I mean, it's, some of them were so close. Like I say, 117, 111. And that included a point taken off Galahad, who did fight in some of these rounds, a very dirty fight. Um, and that was in round 10, I think. Um, weirdly enough, I gave Galahad the last two rounds as well. But... It was a dull fight, not an intriguing fight to me. The style that they, the first round, the styles of both fighters, neither of them um, changed gears really. I suppose you could say maybe, maybe Hughes in the middle round started to get a bit more proactive. In the later rounds, Galahad, who was being screamed at by Dominic Ingle in his corner, who was telling him he was ahead, which I thought, well, I don't know what he was doing there. It clearly wasn't ahead to me anyway. Um, Galahad did turn it up in the championship rounds. It wasn't enough for me. If I scored this fight again, do you know what? I could have it a draw, honestly. One, I think one of the guys did have it a draw. One had it 114-113, uh, I think. Something like that. And the other guy had it... Um, it might have been 170-111 like I had it. But So it was one of those fights where anything... You know, what do you like? Um, Galahad was fuming afterwards... Um, he did finish strongly and he cut Maxi Hughes. I think it was in the last round. Hughes had quite a bad cut. Thankfully for him, it was in the last round. Um, and he managed to escape any kind of real trouble. But Galahad um, was fuming at the end. He thought he'd won. You know, um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I th um, the Maxi Hughes is sort of Cinderella story, Indian summer of his career, whatever you want to call it, continues. I think he's now 26 wins, five defeats and two draws. Because he hasn't got a glossy record, he might be seen as high risk, low reward by champions. Eddie Hearn spoke afterwards about getting him a big payday. He deserves it. He's come up through the small hall circuit. I like Maxi Hughes a lot. Seemed like a real humble, you know, likeable guy uh, in interviews. 
Kid Galahad's going to have to go back to the drawing board. This was his first fight at lightweight. Uh, the IBO lightweight title's on the line, whatever that's worth. Um, but this is a bad defeat for Galahad. Um, he'll say, well, I wasn't beaten. I clearly won that fight. No, you didn't, mate. You didn't. Uh, Hughes won it. Um, and again, when I looked at my scorecard, 117-111, it wasn't that type of fight. But again, I watch that fight on the zone and score it round for round. Very, very difficult. Very difficult fight to score. But did you see it? What did you think of it? Um, there won't be any rematch, thank goodness. It, was, it wasn't an exciting fight. But let me know what you think. Maybe you disagree with my scorecard, which is fair enough, because I kind of disagree with my own scorecard. But see, see how it goes. See what you think. Leave your comments below. Um, thanks for subscribing. If you, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. Thanks for your time, as always. Leave your comments below, and we will speak again soon. Bye-bye for now.